Hallelujah, hallelujah. Are you tired of feeling stuck in a rut? That the world is moving too fast and you're just trying to keep up. Do you feel like you are missing out on something more, something greater? Today, we are going to explore one of the most exciting and life-changing topics in the Bible. Heaven. Hallelujah. The songwriter said, What a day of rejoicing that will be When we all see Jesus We will sing and shout the victory Victory, O oh glory to God I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. A warm welcome to all those joining us in person and online. It is with great joy and anticipation that we gather today to study the wonders of heaven, our eternal home. Get ready to be inspired, encouraged, and transformed as we make our reservation for our final destination. As the saints of the Most High God, we are called to live with our eyes fixed on the heavenly prize. Heaven is not just a future destination but a present reality that shapes our life as we walk with the Lord. It is the ultimate goal of our faith where our redemption story finds its glorious conclusion. Today we will explore why heaven should be the focus of our heart and the driving force behind our spiritual life. In the book of Psalms 24, and we will read from verse 7 to verse 10, and it said, Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be he lifted up, he everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads. O ye gate, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. In this powerful Psalms, we are called to lift up our heads and hearts for the King of glory, the Lord of hosts, is coming. As saints, we understand that heaven is not just a place, but a realm where we will worship the King of kings. This verse invites us to prepare for the Heko Shata Yamamakosa, the ultimate Heko Sha Mako Sekitele Bakatori, Shandai Rebe Kosha. Oh God, I don't want to preach. Oh, help me to teach this. Prepare for the ultimate heavenly Heko celebration. 
where we will forever dwell in the presence of our holy majestic God. Revelation chapter 21 we will look at verse 1 to verse 3. Hear what John said. I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea. And I saw the holy city New Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven. Prepare, hallelujah, as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them. And they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. The Apostle John, in his heavenly vision, reveals a breathtaking transformation. The old order of things passed away. And God himself create a new heaven and earth. This new creation is a place where God dwell with his people, the saints. We are destined to be part of this holy city, New Jerusalem, where God's presence is tangible and sorrow is no more hallelujah what a glorious future await us hallelujah mighty god i'm thinking about when the saints go marching in mighty god the songwriter said i want to be in that number when the saints Go marching in. I feel the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Ah, Chateau Robo Verse 51 to 52. And hear what Paul said. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. But we shall be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eyes. At the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. The Apostle Paul revealed a divine mystery to the saints. Hallelujah. We will not all die, but we will all be changed in an instant. Boom, in an instant. Boom, in an instant. A sound of this trumpet. This transformation is our hope and assurance of eternal life. As saints, we eagerly await the day when our mortal body, Oh, I feel something in my spirit. When this mortal body shall be made immortal, fit for heaven's glory. Hallelujah. What a day of triumph that will be mighty God. Revelation chapter 4. Let us look at verse 10. Yes, to verse 11. The four 
and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne and worship him that liveth forever and ever and cast their crown before the throne saying thou art worthy O Lord to receive glory and honor and power oh God I feel the presence of God for thou hast created all things and for thy pleasure they are and were created here we catch a glimpse of heavenly worship as the 24 elders bow before the throne they cast their crowns acknowledging that all glory belongs to God all glory belongs to God my hallelujah belongs to you robo. I wish I could just stop teaching and start praising I feel my my hallelujah belongs to you as saints we are called to worship and praise our creator both now and forever we're not waiting to be changed before we start praising God we're not waiting for this mortal to put on immortality before we start to worship Almighty God heaven is a place of eternal worship where our voice will join the heavenly choir Oh God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Robobo Shandai. In adoration to the Lamb of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 You're worthy, Jesus. Hallelujah. You're worthy. Mighty God. What a day is going to be. Mighty God. Let us quickly go over to Philippians chapter 3. Philippians chapter 3. And let us look at verse 20 to verse 21 and hear what it said for our conversation is in heaven and from whence also we look for the Savior the Lord Jesus who shall change our vile body that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body according to the workings whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself it is Paul then here reminding us beloved saints that our citizenship is in heaven hallelujah we are stranger and pilgrims on earth longing for our heavenly home but our hope is not just in a place it is in the transformation that await us just as christ was glorified so shall we be glorified being the image of our heavenly father hallelujah thank you jesus what a privilege to be called children of god what a privilege it is to be a saint what a privilege it is to be washed in the blood of the Lamb. What a privilege it is to be called by Almighty God. What a privilege it is to be called, to be washed, 
and to be called a citizen of heaven. Where the Bible said our vile body, the body that is prone to sin, the body that is restricted to sin. The body that has been reigning with sin in our physical limitation. Ah, oh God will be changed, the Bible said. Mighty God, it will be changed just as Christ has changed. And in the same way, our physical body will be changed and we shall no longer be limited and restricted as mortal, but we shall put on our immortality to God be the glory mighty God what a day what a day what a day that will be mighty God let us go over to uh, first John chapter 3 hallelujah first John chapter 3 and let us look at verse 2 to verse 3 and hear what he said Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall do what? We shall see him as he is and every man that has this hope is in him purify himself even as he is pure the apostle john assure us that we are already called the children of god though we do not yet see it fully we are the hope of being like Christ when he appears. This hope, dear saints, is a purifying hope. It motivates us to live holy, hmm? reflecting the purity of our Lord. Heaven is not just a destination, but a reflection of our transformation in Christ. Let us, brothers and sisters, hold on to the transformation power of God. Let us not be conformed to this world, but let us be transformed by the renewing of our mind. Let us look at Revelation 22, verse 3 to verse 5. Mighty God, hear what he said. And there shall be no more curse. Look at somebody said, no more curse. But the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it. And his servants shall serve him. And they shall see his face. And his name shall be in their forehead. And there shall be no more night there. And they need no more candles. Neither light of the sun. For the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. John continued his vision, revealing the eternal reign of God and the Lamb in heaven. There is no darkness, only the radiant light of God's present. We as the saints will not only serve God but also reign with him forever. This is the ultimate honor 
to be co-rulers with Christ. Bask in the eternal light of heaven. Hallelujah. What a glorious reign awaits us. These revelations have stirred our hearts and mind towards heaven. As saints, let us live with heavenly meaningfulness, knowing that our actions have eternal consequence. I know you're going through. I know it's rough. We all go through our circumstances. But our earthly struggles are temporary. But the lesson we learn prepare us for our heavenly reign. Let us endure with patience. Keep our eyes on the eternal price. Share the hope of heaven with those around you. Beloved saints, let your life be a testament to the joy and the peace that come from knowing our eternal Father. Come on, somebody. Let us be assured that as we know Christ, we will be made him known to others and help others to make their reservation for their final destination in heaven. Don't go to hell. Prepare your heart and your mind for heaven. That's where our heart should be. That's where our mind should be. Focusing on God. Focusing on living a life that is pleasing to Almighty God. Hallelujah. I want you to speak to yourself and say, I am a saint of the Most High God. Destined for heaven's glory. The joy of heaven fills my heart, mighty God, and I worship the King of glory. Philippians remind us, I am a citizen of heaven, awaiting my transformation into his likeness. 1 Corinthians Remind us that heaven wonders are beauty away from me, prepared by God's love. As saints, Revelation 22 verse 5, remind us, I reign with Christ now and reign eternally in heaven. I choose to live a holy life reflecting the purity of heaven. In heaven, I will see the face of my Savior, my King of glory. Let us pray. Almighty God, we, your faithful servant, lift our hearts in unity and praise. We thank you for the revelation of heaven and the hope it brings to our lives. As we journey through this world, hallelujah, keep our eyes fixed on the heavenly vision. Empower us by the Holy Spirit to live Shandai as ambassadors of heaven, shining your light in the darkness. In the name of Jesus, our Savior, and the gateway to eternal life, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Beloved saints, 
and online family. Let the revelation of heaven ignite your passion for the things above. Share the good news of God's eternal kingdom with boldness and love. Heaven is not a distant dream, but a promised reality for all who believe. Keep the faith and let your lives be a living testament to the glory that awaits us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us go forth proclaiming the wonders of our heavenly home. Just want to remind you to stay tuned for more life-changing study as we continue to explore the depth of God's word together. Let's spread the heavenly light far and wide reaching soul for the kingdom of God. God bless you and continue to pray for us in Jesus' name.